something else you're working on, you're writing the sequel to The Dark Crystal. That's right. Yep. For Boom. Uh, talk about that and did that come about because uh, you were a fan of the original movie? Very much so. Um, I had made the mistake, uh, having become very friendly with uh, my editors at Boom, of... Um, Always a good idea for a writer. Yeah, well it is, except... You become friendly with your editors. Except the bastards, they <laughs> used me, they, they took advantage, I told them that I was a massive fan of The Dark Crystal. Um, it turns out it's one of the few work for high gigs that I could not say no to. Um, I fell in love with that movie when I was very small. Uh, I watched it way sooner than I should have. It's actually quite a frightening film. Oh, yeah. And that's part of the problem with that movie is um, I think a lot of parents assumed, hey, it's a puppet film. It's a Muppet. Yeah. It, it's a so it's, long it's, haired Muppet. Show it to my kids. They'll love it. And then a, a generation of scars. Yeah, children. that was not marketed well. That movie no, was not marketed well. Because how could you market it? It's sure. such a strange. Thing. And, and um, being quite an analytical person, I identified as a writer in later years that the reason that that film is so special to me is that every single character in that film is a version of a child exploring a world which is utterly alien to us and to them. They're seeing it with their unclouded eyes for the first time. And so we as viewers are by seeing this extraordinary fantasy world through the eyes of these childlike characters, we are able to experience what it was like when we were children, in which the world is, every time you see something, every time you experience something, it's new and it's different and sometimes it's frightening, but it's always wondrous. And so that movie is for me the greatest distillation of the term wonder that you can possibly find. Um, and then the bastard said, hey, how would you like to do the sequel? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, try. Um, it's not that simple, actually. The, so the Henson Studios had commissioned a screenplay to make the movie sequel. Um, and I don't know the inner workings behind the scenes. It, I, I guess it got sort of knocked around Hollywood right. a lot. Uh, it got stuck in production hell. For all I know, it's never going to happen. But if it does, hooray. They came to me and said, how would you feel about doing a comic based on this screenplay? Uh, I said, how, how based on is based interesting. on? Interesting, that's the reverse of what usually happens. That's yeah. very interesting, okay. They let me tinker around with it. The biggest adjustments I made were to do with perspective. I mean, exactly what I was just saying. Mm -hmm. it, it was important to me that the, the uh, point of view in our story is always the perspective of somebody who's experiencing this world for the first time mm -hmm. to create the same sense of wonder. Uh, but other than that, I've kept broadly the same structure as the screenplay. Uh, and yeah, it's just a, a dream come true to be re-exploring this world that I fell in love with when I was a little nipper. It's really cool.